right, there we go. Hello, random boy. Hello, hope everyone had a nice day. I am having a nice day so far. I'm very tired, but I'm having a nice day, and we hope you are too. Welcome back, everybody, to the Slice of Shonen podcast, episode number 42. I am your host on the boat, Sailor. Uh, I just want to apologize real quick. If I sound a little nasally, I just took my allergy medicine, so... uh I, I'm a little fucked up right now, but we're going to make it through. It's all right. Luckily, it's not just me talking on this podcast. As always, I have my co-host here with me. Let me pull up the Discord list. We have the man who has, in fact, figured out how to put Gintama episodes in the candy your children are going to consume this year. Uh, Silver, we have the Cooking Taco. I think you broke into another country. Maybe you're going for another one. I don't know. I don't keep up with his escapades. Uh, we have the me who just took their allergy meds. Hello, Otto. Uh, and then we also have, of course, the Zenith Annie Manga, who, as always, made Ew. this wonderful thumbnail. Uh, what the fuck are you doing not watching his videos? Go watch them right now. Um, <laughs> Avatar Destro, hello. Uh, get well, mate. Hope it's not too serious. It's not. It's it's my daily medicine. It's just whenever I take, like, I first take it, I sound super nasally because everything is like getting up out of me so <laughs> if i just sound a little weirder than i normally do that's all it is hello patrick hello everybody we have a whole lot to talk about a whole list of chapters this is almost a full pod i think next week is going to be our first full one in a while which god damn uh but even if we are missing an extra chapter here strap in this is going to be a long one we got chainsaw man 108 jjk 202 we got hunter hunter aka the light novel x light novel 392 we got black clover 4 uh 342 sorry and then lastly mha 371 go over a little order for everybody just so they know the event of things but with all of that being said fellas is there anything you want to say to the people before we get started nah uh this would I mean, be the uh last podcast before halloween so i guess i'll just give an early uh happy halloween oh yeah happy oh halloween, yeah everyone. shouts out happy halloween yep. make sure you reread shibuya incident from jjk because it happens on halloween you got to make it canon uh even if you like don't do anything for halloween you're just maybe in a country that doesn't like celebrate it at all i hope you just have a good day tomorrow yeah you know? i was like, about to say i just hope you, you know? have yeah. a, a good time tomorrow regardless of what you're doing whether you're heading out you're staying in fucking whatever you're doing man i'm working tomorrow so hey your day is probably going to be better than mine Dang. but anyway <laughs> i am ready I mean, hey, to jump already... into it what do you say Silver? i mean hey we already established how my halloween is going it's gonna be pretty good and i think shouts out let's shouts go out. uh but anyway speaking of scary shit let's talk about chainsaw man chainsaw man 108 fellas team homies la squadra how we feeling about it it's uh it's kind it of a fucking interesting game intro. changer yeah uh i i oh, will straight up say that. not at all what the fuck i was expecting <laughs> 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 i was not expecting this at all a hard left i mean typical fujimoto fashion uh as soon as i think this man's about to take a, a hard left he goes right and vice versa dude I mean, another I'm horseman devil what the fuck <laughs> right yeah I mean, honestly that took me a surprise and then somehow oh no oh she's back up on her feet again and the justice devil were oh, like seriously is she can do that yeah. yeah i mean yeah i mean we don't know what the powers are we don't know um, i know baby yeah. i posted I'm just saying, this bitch was cut into sashimi <laughs> Uh, I I posted my uh, Sailor Notes video on this chapter on TikTok, and one of the people on there, uh, by the way, go follow me, uh, link in the description if you're on TikTok and all that good shit. Um, nice try. I'm not downloading TikTok. No you don't have what to. You say to me. You don't have to. Yeah, it's nice okay. try, dude. You don't have to. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. we're your friends, but we, we don't like you that uh, much. TikTok <laughs> is the best, dude. Oh, my God. Thank you, Taco. I have seen your for you page. You have no Bro, money. He understands. Bro, that shit's fucking... Shit. That shit got bacteria growing in it. Oh, my... <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, someone commented on my post. He's like, I think it's the uh, the Horseman of Death because uh, Yuko was pretty much dead and she just brought her back to life like nothing. Yeah. 
I hard disagree on that. I thought for, it was uh, hunger. I'm not gonna lie. I think but... it is still because one, it isn't like the way that these powers have worked have never been in like the way you'd expect them to. Mm -hmm. And a rev it isn't just a revival. It's a total change of form. Now, I'm not going to make any like hard claims because if it is the hunger devil, I don't know how that would relate to it either. But it's pretty fair to say it's not just a basic revival, you know, it didn't just bring her back to life. There's other shit going on here. So I think there's a lot. He's kind of trying to throw us off a little. I think it's going to be a situation. Like, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just going to say, I think it's the, I guess, hunger or famine devil, whatever the fuck it's going to be. But mm -hmm. I think um, literally I have no reasoning to back it up. I just think it makes sense for death to be last because I think it's going to be the strongest just because it's like, I feel like death is that what a lot of people are scared of. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, would yeah. think, I, mean I feel like death would definitely be up there with the primordial devils, like the darkness think, devil. Like that is a very primal fear. Yeah. It'll be one of the most powerful devils in the series. Yeah. Uh, I think that... And like I said, I could just be wrong. If it's next week, if it's just like, hey, I'm the death, you know, devil, <laughs> I'd be like... I'm, <laughs> I'm death the That's kid. literally... Oh, shit. I just <laughs> think it... I literally... I think it's not the death devil just because I think it's a bit too early. To I think it's gonna devil. be hunger just because... Uh, I mean, like, we have all the other situations where so far the other horsemen can control other people. You know, Makima, obviously prime example but you have you think they're uh, all gonna be women yeah <laughs> <Why not? laughs> yeah absolutely at this um, point you know like but yeah i i think it's it's gonna be a situation because makima was able to control people obviously that was her whole thing uh yoru is like all right well if i befriend people or if i believe that they are mine or whatever i can turn them into a weapon i think it's gonna be a situation for the hunger devil where it's like well uh you know if you're with me I can give you all of this power type shit. I think it is like sort of like because de devils are being fed off blood. So I think just the yeah. blood of the hunger devil was enough to bring her back up and bloat her up to this crazy amount. Like, hey, if you stick with me, here you go. Well, I can bring you back. Now Denji's going to show up. <laughs> yeah oh yeah he has to now we were talking about that before we were like well denji could show up but he's just gonna destroy her because she's not strong but now she's a bit more in ninji's weight class you know what i mean yeah and we don't know what the fuck is gonna happen now because i i don't know man as i mean it's really hard to gauge the personality off of what like a couple panels um, yeah. but so far this, uh, I, I'm just going to go, I, I'm just going to call her the hunger devil or the famine devil for the time being. If we're wrong, shut the fuck up. We're wrong. Um, but we'll anyway, talk about we Hunter will ever never again. talk about it again, bro. <laughs> we, ever. It will bro. just yeah. not be on the next podcast. Ever, so we'll just ever, ever, <laughs> ever. But yeah, I'm just going to call it the hunger devil for now. Um, yeah, that's fair what's enough. happening. So yeah. the hunger devil so far seems to be the most tame out of all of them where it's just like yeah sure i'll do anything for my little sister like it, it's right, kind of crazy to be fair Bro, the, the first thing makima did point? was hug denji she was very tame at first well, if, if that's we're gonna go true. by that standard that's yeah. true but and uh, then she blew a hole in her girl power so yeah i mean that's true it's just i it's the fact that she like came saying, out of though. the cut and she was like, "Yeah, I'll help you." Like that's it's fine. Mm -hmm. And like I don't know what she could gain from it again because we don't we literally know nothing about this character. So like I don't know what she could gain from it. So so far anyway, she seems to be like the most, I guess, like I said, tame or helpful out of the horsemen that we've met. So I don't know how she's gonna play into this whole thing. How she's gonna react whenever Denji shows up. Is she also at this school to hunt Denji? Is she here specifically to look for Yoru? I don't know. <laughs> I just I think, do not know. I think something that's really interesting about this chapter is just anything for my little sister. Because the thing about Chainsaw Man is we don't know shit about devils. Like, really. The whole thing with, uh, like, all we know from the very beginning is like, all right, uh, they... You know, they're manifestations of fear. They just sort of come into existence. They're born in hell, uh, need blood, yada, yada. We don't know 
anything about like the details like when primordial devils become a thing that's because one of the fiends like talks about it that isn't common knowledge by like normal devil hunters that's like a thing that they're learning about when we do at least that's how it's kind of portrayed yeah and when it comes to the horsemen like they are referred to like they refer to themselves that way that's how makima like gives that title you know that's not like a fan thing um but we don't know like what makes them special like obviously on a meta level there's like the four horsemen of the apocalypse there's that like symbolic shit to it but like in universe we don't know why they're like grouped up or anything like that so it's interesting to see it's like in the eyes of this one at least there is a you know a sibling relationship maybe it, it's very strange um mm. yeah that's my point <laughs> yeah uh lex brought up in chat that denji has nayuta aka the control devil so famine yep. could have a motivation to go get her younger sister back which is oh. true yeah yeah i, I didn't even uh, think about this that. is your head cannon but that's the literally the first thing i thought was like as soon as she showed up and she was like anything from my little sister i was like oh immediately like oh this is gonna be the actual villain of this arc because like oh okay i've been on the yoru like yoru and asa being friends hype train for a long time now and i was waiting because this was like the big moment because i was really waiting to see what happened in this battle because like i said if yoru started like turning classmates and stuff into weapons then i would have been like okay she's kind of fucking up now like she's actually starting to be a villain but that's not what happened like no one she didn't injure or hurt anyone so far yeah and it's like now we get introduced to this other horseman and the first thing she did was something that's like she's portraying it as she's doing her a favor but i she knew that this was gonna happen like she knew that like when the justice devil came back it was gonna be bigger and stronger and probably go on a rampage and yada yada it's like so yeah they, i guess we'll, we'll see <laughs> it's a whole situation and uh i guess well first let me look through some of these comments real quick let me not ignore y'all uh let me scroll through famine devil or death devil debate begin i think yeah we all think it's the the famine devil so far uh personally betting on famine devil since it's darkness devil is a primordial devil there's no way death isn't sort of like what silver said yes uh primor primordial devils never been to earth because they've never been killed in hell type shit type yeah shit. i was i was gonna bring that up that's really important is if we meet yeah. a prime if there is one that is on like earth that's not a primordial devil that's i i've seen so many people say that makima's a primordial devil she wasn't well, yeah, she, I was she about fucking to say, died. Why? Yeah, I was about to say she got beat the fuck up so much during the series, <laughs> especially when she went up against a, a primordial devil. She got yeah, fucking... like that's the thing. It, it's implied she would have died against yeah. the devil. Like it's up for debate, obviously, because the it was left open ended enough. But you can make a very solid argument that if Makima stayed there, the Darkness Devil would have killed her. Yeah, like the Darkness Devil most likely like. He was it was stronger than Makima. Oh, what's up? I'm it's just a dumb. I like I don't know if this is like this isn't relevant to this chapter at all. But I just realized, um, like she, her injuries weren't healing when she was in hell fighting the Darkness Devil, so she might have been cut off from her contract because she was just in hell. Mm. Oh, so yeah, she would have okay. gotten fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she would have she would have got cooked over there. Yeah um let me see through the rest of these i definitely think it's famine yeah denji night okay so i read that one what's up, actually Sushi this Danger? is um good this is an interesting question everyone who's watching type in chat who do you think this is just your own opinion what devil do you think will be the most powerful devil in the series do you think it'll be the death devil or like what concept do you think like Fujimoto would go with for being the most powerful. What do you think, like, most of humanity fears? Because I think that's a really interesting topic because me and Zenith have also talked about this before and what we think. By the way, subscribe to my channel. The video is going to be coming out about it. Like, yeah, we're not going to Not right now. Not right that now, but is, eventually. Yeah, we are. That, that's in the works. You know, look for that. But I'm curious yeah. to just kind of gauge what, what people think. The devil, 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 I like devil. That. Based, yeah. 
No, unironically, the fear of devils would make the strongest devil because it would be it the fear sense. of every concept yeah, it makes the that fear devils of everyone. Yeah. Huh. All right, that's one funny. thing. I remember having a conversation with someone a long time ago about the possibility of like an unknown devil. Like literally, that's just the concept. Like the fear of the unknown. Mm. Oh, that, I feel like that kind of ties was, with the darkness. Devil, yeah, that right? is the darkness devil. I mean, yeah, I don't know, because I mean, I feel like. Like the, the way we were talking about it, like the, like a good design for it that I wouldn't actually have like, like an actual form to it. Like it could just, just be like this mass as of like shadow or, or goop or whatever. Or they could just there, take off. It's open that to interpretation. Anything, really. There could exactly. be a separate devil that's just for the unknown. But the way the darkness devil is presented, I think Zenith did a very good video on this. Please go right. watch it. It's my favorite Ooh. video he's ever done. It's... That's basically what the darkness devil is, is the fear of the unknown. Like he, because I mean, that just makes sense. Like the darkness isn't actually what's scary. It's what could be in the darkness. That's scary. Yeah. The abyss stares back type shit. It would be. So as people are saying, like some people are saying like, you know, the darkness devil will be the strongest we see. And it's like, it would actually be kind of crazy. Like, I don't think this is what's going to happen. But if we see it again, but it's, you know, more of an even fight when we finally do, that'd be interesting. Mm, um, okay. I don't know. Because I, I don't know. I think, like, you got to end off on some something like that for the end game of the series, whatever it is. Okay, okay. I see what you mean. Uh, if I had to guess, I'd probably just go with death. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I, I think that's that. like the simplest one. Um, that was my first answer that I yeah. thought of. What do you think it is now? Do you like? Did your answer change or? So my fucking because I was like, uh, like the we were talking about this is the first thing I thought I was like, oh, it's the Death Devil, and then I was like, wait, this is Fujimoto we're talking about, so it's gonna be something dumb like the opposite. It's gonna be like the Life Devil or something like that, where it's like, uh, I don't yeah. know. The but, fear uh, of being alive. The yeah, fear man, that's just rough. The fear of being alive, but it's like I think it'll probably I don't know. I yeah, still think it's the death devil. Yeah. But I, I I still think it's the death devil, but also I'm still trying to figure out something else because it is like I don't think this is Fujimoto. I don't think the most straightforward answer is the. You know one. what I could so, see it being on some like Fujimoto shit. I could see it being like something like the regret devil or something. <laughs> I could see it being like, oh, everybody has regrets and fucking everyone is, I mean, like, it is true, but I could see it being something like a, like a situation, like a nigga just thinking back, like, damn, I've, I'm so old now and I didn't even do anything in my life and blah, 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 or some shit like that. I, I feel like it could be something like that, but I don't know. I, my, my, my answer is still the death devil. I feel like, yeah, I would say, like, hey, I, mean, I feel like regret isn't really a, a kind of thing you would just fear, you know? Like, I mean, that doesn't seem like it would be... Satan himself? Satan, okay. yeah, that's the worst thing. thing. I feel like that would just tie back right into the, like, the devil devil. I mean, yeah. Scary shit. Yeah, I, I agree with Avatar Death Star. I, I think uh, the famine... If this is the famine devil, it could be famine or death. But I think whoever this is is going to be the real villain of this arc. Mm. And... Uh, Asa, Yoro, and Denji will team up to fight him. God, that'll be a fucking insane fight. God damn. I think that'd be if insane. this is the Hunger Devil, you know, that has the potential to be really interesting because it might not be like hunger in like the way you traditionally think about it. Like, you know, like just for food, like hunger for anything, really. Hunger for, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, which yeah. is, I think it will be. Which that's that is what Benji's character is about, yeah. right? Is about, like, that you know, his fit. Yeah. Especially, I mean, we've brought it up before, too, on the podcast. That would fit because Denji's at this point in his life where he's literally and metaphorically trying to have his cake and eat it, too. Hunger <laughs> Devil plays into it. Uh, you know, like, it would fit. It would fit type shit. So, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I think it's the Hunger Devil. Uh, I'd be very surprised if it was just the Death Devil. Like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn. But, yeah. Um, overall, I, I really like that bit of the chapter. I guess to circle back around a little bit, uh, I like the stuff that was going on with Yuko. Because it seemed a little bit more characterization for her before she got fucking deleted. Um 
You mean the most <laughs> devious lick of 2022? Yes. Um. So, <laughs> fucking her talking about how she would become the symbol of justice. She would be like Chainsaw Man. It was more so like at that point, and I'm sure there were hints of it earlier on too, but at that point it more so felt like she was getting rid of all of these bullies for her own gain and not for Asa's. And I like that. I mean, like it's sort of like this underlying sense of selfishness. Uh, Asa even had a little bit of that, as we saw with uh, Bucky, where it was a few chapters ago where Yoru was like, you didn't feel bad that he died. You just felt bad that everyone saw you kill him. Um, so I, I thought that was pretty interesting. Asa going full kill a kill this chapter. It shouts out. Yeah, uh, I thought about that, too. <laughs> I do have a question, though, uh, for my podcast members and for everybody in chat. Do you think Asa being in her underwear in this chapter is fan service? Because yeah, I don't okay. think it is. I, I think, think MHA Twitter is just bored, but that's my interpretation. I think it's complicated because on one hand, I don't think the like the imagery, the way it's portrayed is very sexual. Like mm -hmm. even just the shot where she's full on naked, it's not like like it doesn't feel like a typical fan service shot. No. But like No, not really. At the same time, it didn't have to be her uniform. Right. Like he kind of just made it that. So it's I think it's it, weird. I think it's I a think, situation where yeah, like, it, it could have been like a oh, my mom gave me this watch sort of thing. Exactly. And it, it so could have like, been that. I, I definitely agree on that, but I don't think it's really fan service, to be honest. because uh, I, I was I was I getting into know. a conversation about this on uh Twitter, and I, I, I do definitely think it's just MHA Twitter being bored as usual. Uh because it was the second they were just like Wow, I can't believe Fujimoto would do this. See if Horikoshi did this. It's just like, oh, okay. So people were immediately like oh, bringing yeah, up definitely. the color page and uh, the Toru color page and things like that. I think it's fine. Um, I I think this whole thing, I think Asa just being in her underwear by itself isn't all that sexual. There's no real focus on her, her cleavage or her ass isn't popping out of her pants or whatever. It's just asa in underwear i think it's fine personally um it, it's whatever i think honestly there was way more fan service in uh what was it chapter 106 it was the panel where yoru was turning around and at asa like what are you gonna do without your body and the fucking ass on yoru was insane so like to see that and to see that yeah she's in her underwear here but she's pretty covered up i think yeah it, it definitely could have been something else like a watch or like oh my mom got me these shoes or some shit uh but i think the way it was handled is fine that's my interpretation though i think it's just one of those things that we gotta accept our favorite mangaka are weirdos you oh know? no i yeah. understand that <laughs> i hey. mean fuck horikoshi wrote this nigga shigaraki to play league i'll, I'll never forgive him in my life and um, i will fucking <laughs> i will never i'll yeah, never forgive him in my life i never forgive him in my life right <laughs> never go. in my life but yeah anyway. no uh absolutely fujimoto is a fucking freak but i love him so uh, <laughs> either way there is no right or wrong answer i was just curious to see like how people felt on that uh, let me see how chat feels. Depends on the angle. Uh, nah, she got a boy bond. <laughs> Damn, you gotta do my girl like that. <laughs> uh, Chainsaw Man's whole thing is that he eats people so the Hunger Devil would be an interesting nemesis. That's very true. Bringing it back yeah, a little bit there, yeah. Avatar. Uh, there's a double standard where live action could have sex and nudity without being treated as fan service, but anime and manga, nudity and sex is always treated as fan service. Well, I think it's just a different sort of situation. Also because she's a high school student that's why people there's, are weirded out by there's the that CA too thing. um i personally i don't give a shit I, but whatever uh at, at least in anime and manga don't fucking do that shit with real people um but the the whole st uh double standard thing with what's going on is usually in anime and manga when a girl is in her underwear it's usually for fan service purposes it's usually the fucking what are you doing step bro type shit you know <laughs> embarrassed yeah, titties all like out that. like ah yamete 
you know so you but in in like live action films it's just oh she's in her underwear cool oh he's in his underwear cool like there's no real the the guy isn't up in the camera just like mm, look at my fucking muscles the the woman doesn't pull the camera like look at these fucking titties you know there's Bro. nothing like that you that being said movie, there are movie. definitely movies like oh that. yeah but no, that's no, not like the mainstream shit that dude just got fucking naked <laughs> 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 that man yeah. just got naked hey shouts out though um but yeah at least that's how i feel about it but like i said i don't really care all too much uh what's good steve a great week of chapters that's true is the league of name villains named after the uh, league of legends yes unfortunately lex unfortunately uh a league player ends up being a villain no surprise yeah yeah trust me i know bro i know uh apparently the characters are different the names characters are different uh i don't know what you're referring to but i agree. He's referring to league of legends league of villains where it's like it's yeah. different characters uh, for the okay. words. Like, in yeah. japanese their name isn't actually league of villains it's closer to oh, like villain yeah. Union villain or something Union. like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember league of villains that. is just the way it was chosen to be translated in english because it sounded best yeah uh so, i just want to yeah. reinstate the fact that sailor Reef thought wash was born a washing machine bro yes the fuck <laughs> So here's the thing, niggas oh, brag, <laughs> niggas brag all the time about being built different, but when it's time to put fucking the the boots on the floor and be built different, now niggas say it's impossible, sailor. It can't happen. A washing machine can't have a baby. You know, I'm niggas just making a little sick. big washing machine. Yeah. That's how it that's how Ooh. it was, bro. That was the canon before Horikoshi ruined it, bro. He fucking ruined <laughs> Wash's canon. He made Shigaraki a league player. How far is this man willing Dude, to sink? How I far? Can't believe you retconned Wash. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I know, Horikoshi. I know what the original drafts were. You can't fucking hide this shit from me, man. God damn. But anyway, we're getting massively off track, so that's telling me I, we don't um, have much else to say I about wanted, this chapter. <laughs> no, actually, I did have something. I wanted okay, to go say. ahead. I'm I sorry. Wanted, go ahead. Fan service aside, I actually think that scene's really important because I feel like this might be an inclination that Awesome might be significantly better. Like she is going to be better with this power than Yoru is. Oh, absolutely. Because. Yoru has no guilt. So why would she ever... She's not going to be able to create powerful weapons because she doesn't give a shit about I mean, anything. yeah, that's why she has to, like... So that's why she has Asa. And that's the... Body. We're seeing it in action because we haven't seen Asa make a weapon yet. So we didn't really know how good she was going to be at it. Mm -hmm. But now that we've seen it, and it's like, it was just a uniform. Like, yeah, she has sentimental value towards it because her mom bought it for her. But if she like actually did make a weapon out of like Yuko or something, it would be actually pretty insane. Oh my! Like it's gonna God. be really. Small. I couldn't even. Imagine I think. That. Um, I think it's important because we didn't really have any. Like I said, we didn't really know how strong it would be. Like we all assumed it would be powerful, but we didn't really know how powerful. I think it would be pretty fucking yeah. insane. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fucking crazy. That's a very good point, Taco. Uh, cause I was thinking about that and then I went on Twitter and I, uh, <laughs> it's the reason why I'm trying to, it it's the reason why I'm trying to cut Twitter out of my life. But, um, yeah, that's, that's a very good point. Uh, Asa is definitely a lot better at using this power and it's going to be interesting to see now that this has happened because Yoru was surprised, like, God damn, fuck. Okay. Yes. Well, that's why I think it's interesting because even Yoru underestimated. Exactly. Awesome. Yeah, so it's going to be like, interesting. Oh, that's not going to make a powerful weapon. Like Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how Yoru sort of moves from now on because beforehand she was definitely sort of manipulating Asa, uh especially with the whole Yuko thing like, you know, we can just kill her. We can kill her. You should do it. Murder now. Mm -hmm. Uh so now that she knows for sure that this bitch can make an insane weapon just because oh my mom got me this uniform <sighs> i'm it, about to I, I would not be surprised if on some makima shit <laughs> she was like i need you to get close to these niggas and then kill them <laughs> i really like die. it because um i like the way fujimoto set it up making it where the war devil 
the stronger the sense of guilt is, the stronger the weapon becomes. Because Asa's entire character is just about how fucking guilty she feels about She's everything. She's really <laughs> like with guilt. How yeah. Full of regret she is at all times. It's like god man yeah she's she's just a fight just survivor's guilt out the ass just remorse about everything this poor girl is going through it and she can't catch a fucking break man she's constantly suffering <laughs> so it's gonna be something to see how Yoru sort of takes advantage of that or just how the two of them grow you know i can imagine it'll start off as Yoru trying to take advantage of it uh and then they mm -hmm. start of they sort of start to grow together and bond more and more as time goes on. Maybe Yoru starts to feel some actual regrets now, and maybe she can start to use the power a little bit more effectively. Type shit, type shit. Zenith, what do you uh, think of the new horseman's design? Oh, it's great. I love the fucking. Oh, that's a uh, high school girl, you fucking weirdo. Okay. Come on, bro. <laughs> Chill out, man. God, bro. Walk bro, clean that, that shit up, bro. This is a fucking podcast. <laughs> No, God I do, I damn, do Shardy. Cool. I like her earrings. I was about yeah, to say, I'm not James sure. Man things. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, I've I didn't heard even two interpretations that. of them, actually. Um, okay. The first is that, um, you know, like the chains, the, the fucking, you know, you pull the, the cord, right? Mm -hmm. The chains, oh, that's what those look like. Because uh, mm -hmm. yeah. that's exactly what Denji has on his chest. Mm -hmm. It looks exactly like that. Uh, the other one I've heard, and I think this one's less likely, but the people who do theorize it is the uh, the horseman, uh, the the hunger devil, right? Uh, the horseman of famine is often depicted holding scales that look, you know, and they kind of, they kind of look like that, you know, the way that. Uh, you know, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's thought, just a random thing. I thought they were meatballs with triangles at the bottom. So no, that yeah, makes more you know, sense. facts. It's weird because actually the first thing on her design that like drew my attention, weirdly enough, is all the little like like moles or like beauty marks she has on her face. She yeah. has a bunch. Oh yeah, uh, I think there's a thing where Fujimoto just said he likes drawing moles on his characters. That nice. would make sense. Yeah, <laughs> she has a bunch. Shouts out, yeah, yeah. No, this is like the first thing that drew me were the eyes i was like ah oh. <laughs> hey oh. yo what the Kids, fuck what is did we happening? learn today all women for me it was the earrings evil. say it mm. with me again all, all women, women are, are evil, evil. i Absolutely. think i'm gonna say silent what's the problem bro <laughs> Come on. bro you read the um, chapter two bro you're just living in the <laughs> what is the problem bro the sooner we acknowledge this I... issue the better I don't know how to tell you this, but everyone involved in this shit was all women. This is all women characters. That in this chapter, is bro. so true. That is so no true, one, Taco. No one can say Fujimoto doesn't have, you know, diversity and representation, bro. Look at all these bitches. <laughs> you know what I think he has? I think he has the vision. I think he's onto something with all of these women being evil. Mm. Yeah, mm. he's really a prophet. Type shit, type shit. But... <laughs> But anyway, uh, is there anything else uh, misogynistic we want to say before we move on to the next chapter? I think we covered everything. I think I'm good. We covered all the misogyny. Okay, otherwise. let's go. Uh, <laughs> let's move on. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen 202. Team, how are we feeling about it? Honestly, Bruh, for the first half, it took to me a, a while to remember just what the deal was with these characters are, so I had to read up on these guys God, again. I fucking love Yuki! <laughs> it's so <laughs> fucking cool, man. I've been saying for uh, a while, here and there in videos, I've been saying, I, I was debating, uh, not even debating, I was planning on making a full video on Yuki, and I still am, but uh, it is so cool to see her in this chapter, because for a while, I was like, man, she's so important, like, she's she has a lot more influence than even I remember and I've been rereading Jujutsu Kaisen lately and I just reread Hidden Inventory with the Star Plasma Vessel and Rico God rest your soul sweetheart God damn you got done dirty but um yeah I just got done rereading that and so seeing like not only Yuki this character who I thought was super important this whole time but for her to say that she's a former Star Plasma Vessel holy fuck this shit was so good, man. I love these little lore chapters of JJK. It was so good. Uh, shouts out to Yuki for also burping like a real one right there. That sounded like it. It felt good. So I respect it. 
Uh, Yuki's design is also, you know, funny shit aside. Her design is simple but really cool. I like it. Um, but even Indian moving on from like that. <laughs> yes, I was going to say, he definitely looks like a thumb. But even the end of the chapter was cool, too. You, okay, what's up? Because there was a lot of shit in this chapter. I'll, I'll just be, I'll be the idiot. No one else has to admit it. I just didn't really understand what the fuck was no, happening. No, that's fine. <laughs> uh, so why is that Tanuki I mean, guy's titties out like that? <laughs> why is his titties like, out? Yeah, why is that Tanuki's titties out like that? Like, why did you draw oh, him like that? Oh, I, I thought you said Tangan. I was like, what? No, the Tanuki. Because <laughs> it's, like it's like a Tanuki doll or something. It's just, yeah. He's got titties. I don't know. It's literally just the... I don't know. Kenjaku's into some weird shit, bro. Um, I just don't I, know anymore. I don't know, man. Like, Kenjaku's into some shit. He's... Let me see them fucking titters on you, bro. For anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, it's on page six and seven. <laughs> just no, sure. don't give them context. <laughs> no, dude, it's, no, I think it's important because I actually never saw give that them like, context. Oh, that's a odd. Yeah, no, it's just a design. Uh, I, I don't think we've ever seen that curse from Kinjaku before. I could be wrong, but I don't remember seeing it before. I could be wrong um let me look through some of these comments son uh let's not forget that a 1b student's a walking glue stick thank you jake god damn niggas can't be washing machines but they can be manga panels and glue sticks what the fuck uh <laughs> yours problem uh yours power probably works best when you have guilt and something you care about so yours probably too um, uh apathetic to everything to utilize her powers to the fullest yes uh could also yeah. theoretically turn people into weapons and by extension if she were to become good friends with denji could she technically weaponize him yeah um that was something else that was established with her uh that yori was talking about when they first got together um jj well I, I think it's like if she belongs to like if she thinks that you belong to her or some shit like that i don't know if it's just friends uh jjk peak is always very true city choso is definitely getting packed man yeah let's not talk about it bro yeah <laughs> we'll, we'll get there mind. yeah kenjaku legit was like i know i'm gonna put you six feet under and my plans are pretty much coming to fruition so let's watch some vids on possible outcomes for the elephants i know yeah, i'm like, cooking I'm, your goofy ass that's what i want to talk about oh uh, like just <laughs> is what the layout of his plan here is like I'm, bi I'm still not entirely clear here because i know it centers around tengen which is still some, he's just oh, something he's just i need to reread on yeah mm -hmm. Um, but basically the way i'm understanding this is that uh using ing tengen as a base since he's essentially a cursed spirit here mm. he's gonna uh, try to use who's tengen and all the other non-sorcerers are currently flooding into the, the japan right now i.e e. the american army and probably all the other armies he's, he's coming in contact with yeah so basically he created he's something like what we saw in Jujutsu kaisen zero that uzumaki spirit yeah but on like a like a way grander scale nah bro he's about to create the attack titan bro there's about to be a rumbling in tokyo that big ass joke <laughs> <laughs> well, i was like damn bro jesus christ um so it was even a little confusing for me so chat you can help me out as i go along here uh so cut back to shibuya incident where yuki was talking about uh optimizing cursed energy through tengen that would make cursed uh cursed uh fucking regular people i guess become sorcerers because you have the cursed energy sort of flowing through them that was what led to that monopoly of cursed energy being in japan obviously you have other people who are coming over now uh so you have the human populace as a cursed energy resource so uh with that whole thing in mind with every being having cursed energy and you have uh all of that being uh, essentially you have all of this optimization of cursed energy through tengen if he takes control of tengen he can sort of optimize that throughout definitely japan but he was saying perhaps even the entire world that essentially be like what was going on with yuji when he first ate sukuna's finger and all of the other curses awakened because sukuna's cursed energy awoke inside of yuji obviously so it's sort of like that where like he pops this whole thing and it sets it's like a chain reaction everyone immediately like their cursed energy uh it goes through tengen goes through all of those other people they become cursed spirits and shit just goes fucking left uh <laughs> and it's really interesting too because uh you have 
all of this stuff going on and throughout the entirety well i shouldn't say the entirety but throughout uh, a good chunk of jujutsu kaisen you have the things going on with ghetto and kenjaku and it's like man their goals are really simple but ghetto when you read into it uh, not even when you read into it you just read what's going on with him he's saying like oh man like i i want to change this world because i believe the natural order is fucked up we need to flip this we need to have non-sorcerers at the bottom we need to have all sorcerers up top because why do we exist to protect all of these weak ass <clears throat> niggas they're gross they're monkeys they don't deserve this shit and it's from this deep-seated hatred and all of these questions he's been asking himself for a while and finally coming to an answer he can agree with kenjaku is like i just want to fuck around and find out nigga i'm, I'm just gonna be real with you <laughs> like, i i think it's so interesting um especially since i've been looking more and more into jujitsu kaisen and uh there are so many selfish characters in the series who are mainly uh just becoming sorcerers and doing the things that they are doing simply because it's what they want to do they're not really doing it to be big shot heroes or anything like that uh so not only is it just funny to see kenjaku just be like yeah i just want to be a dickhead man i just want to find out it, it's not even him saying i want to be evil it's genuinely just a sense of curiosity which uh goes back to the whole thing with noritoshi kamo uh and how he essentially helped i guess sort of make the curse wombs that choso is because of his curiosity of a woman who was pregnant uh with a child who was like half pink yeah no the what is going on with okay it's it's coming back now uh chat can you hear me is everything good now well, youtube well, just I does you. not get along with me bro i again it's a situation where i i have full bars i mean the the stream just sort of kind of reset if you can hear me chat let me know hopefully everything's okay but again i i have full bars my internet is fine it's it's all good yeah okay. no, we hear you it's all yeah good. It's, i don't know what's going yep. on um but You're yeah uh i i guess to sum up that whole thing because i talked a lot there uh i really like this chapter of jjk it was really fucking good i love this series a lot and i'm really interested to see where this next chapter is going to take things <laughs> yeah i um i'm just along for the ride <laughs> yeah i feel that i feel that um man i feel like i i wasted all my meter in that one bit there and it sucks because <laughs> all that got cut out um i i guess i can try to uh go back chat did i cut out for you guys earlier too or was i just good that whole time let i me mean know. we heard you for most of it it was early like the last like okay then i i, I don't i don't want to repeat out, at least for then. me yeah uh if that's the case i won't repeat myself i won't go too deep into it um but yeah all of this just seeing how all of this ties around to everything and seeing things come full circle like this um i i don't want to say i'm understanding uh you did cut out for me oh shit okay well I'll, I'll probably get around to it uh as i'm rambling here just god i love this series so much um I, I don't want to say I'm understanding Kenjaku's plan entirely, uh, or I guess like how it works, but it's more so just seeing how everything ties together and how everything is sort of coming full circle for this man. It's so interesting. It's it's so fucking interesting, man. Um, but hopefully things. Are, okay, there we go. YouTube is scaring me because now now I YouTube is fucking weird. Because they were saying that, like, no, your connection is bad. And I was like, well, I have full bars, and Streamlabs is telling me the stream is excellent. So what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I don't know what's happening with YouTube right now. I don't know. Maybe they just don't like Jujutsu Kaisen as much as me, which L. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I fucking love Yuki, her whole conversation uh, with Tengen and her talking about everything going on <laughs> i i love how basically tengen this whole thing he, he's talking with yuki she's like all right bro you had this whole star plasma situation we could have got you all fixed up even with rico dying why did you not 
fucking do anything and he's just like oh yes blah 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 uh i i just accepted that this is how things are and you know just as the seasons come and go our time to advance is inevitable and blah 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 and yuki just takes a sip of her drink and she's like nigga did you really just do all of this you ruined a kid's life and you sent kids to their potential death just so you could sit here and tell me it is what it is in cursive what the fuck is wrong with you <laughs> i love that shit <laughs> like god man this, this is so much fun uh, uh i don't know what's going on i don't know what's going on like i full bars i got full bars my internet is fine shit's just not working you know what i'm just not gonna talk about jjk anymore whatever <laughs> we're done it's we're done it's fucking cursed is there anything you want to say before we move on yeah i don't have anything to say all right we're fucking yeah, moving on to hunter hunter Roll i'm dude uh no I'm no one fucking... more thing uh chose is about to show what a real blood user can do you know back up that uh that noritoshi guy the you know the one who the, the blood user i respect so that it doesn't really matter <laughs> yeah <laughs> no more he's about to get rid of that for both fraudulent noritoshi combos be gone to both <laughs> of them uh fucking your bars are as weak as your internet my internet is fucking strong dick neck no i'm kidding uh but yeah my my internet is fine i don't know what's going on with youtube uh if this was a me problem trust me you'd know the stream would not be up at all if this was a me yeah, problem. youtube just hates streams yeah it's, i was about to say if, if this was a me problem anything. this stream would not cut out and come back it would cut out and then that would be it <laughs> you would i'd be in the shadow realm brother uh but no i i we're, we're just gonna move on bro damn cv you ain't gonna embarrass me like that we're gonna talk about hunter hunter oh fuck the timestamps are fucked now too god damn Damn it! All right, what? what? <sighs> Everything is going to shit. Um, but anyway, how, how do you guys feel about this chapter? Let's try to let's hope things fucking work better now that oh. we're talking about something else. This is the first yeah. time Hisoka has showed up in this arc in yeah, forever, man, bro. Deal. Yeah, it's fucking insane, man. <laughs> YouTube trying to stop the divine church of teaching the uh stop the divine teaching of the JJK church. That's for true city, bro. We can't ever win. Um but yeah, <laughs> Hisoka so many theories about how Hisoka is disguising himself. He's just chilling in his street wear. <laughs> yeah, that was the craziest <laughs> part. Yeah. I was not expecting that. Yeah, they're just walking up to random people. Are you Hisoka? No. Are you Hisoka? No. They just walk up to Hisoka just, hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> like damn all right cool Bro, he didn't even try to like pretend like he wasn't isoka he was immediately just like oh yeah what's up like yeah it's like <laughs> yeah you know who i am you know why i'm here <laughs> it's uh i also one of my favorite little things in this chapter is me mm -hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, the, the body disposal thing. Yeah, that was a really mm -hmm. interesting technique. Um, I was not expecting that. I thought it was somebody else. Uh, well, I don't know who it was. I don't know so many characters in this series now. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was really interesting to see a, a technique like that and just be like, oh, yeah, we're, we're all good. Moving on. That was cool. Mm -hmm. It just shows how versatile Nen is. I think Nen, I mean, it's such For a sure. cool power system. Yeah, uh, I often forget about that just because the series is gone for so long uh but mm -hmm. you know it is what it is when you're a hunter hunter fan that's just how these things go but yeah that was very cool youtube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming so it's not my fault chat it's not my fault youtube is saying it right here not enough to maintain smooth streaming that's not me my internet is good <laughs> it's fine on my end so we're just gonna hope shit doesn't cut out anymore hisoka hasn't been on panel since 2016 holy fuck god damn has it really been that long bro i graduated high school when the last time ahsoka was on the panel god, god damn. damn bro i graduated high school when the last time he was on panel now i i graduated college <laughs> fuck oh my gosh made me feel old bro i'm only 24 damn damn bro well you are old god what damn. the fuck what do you mean yeah, man, what the hell <laughs> what the fuck 
God damn, you couldn't wait until I was like at least 25 or something. <laughs> now we gotta get started early. early. God I mean, damn, bro, it's too early. Anywhere. All right. Maybe the YouTube acknowledges it. That's why you're cutting out so much. I don't yeah, know, bro. man. I don't know. Bro, that's just life. <laughs> I, I I don't Shit fucking happens. know anymore. It's, it's fucking weird. I'm a fucking send a picture to the the discord after this i've had full bars this whole time man <laughs> this whole fucking time i have not dropped once it's just not working for whatever me. you say grandpa it, Nigga, don't talk to me about bad. grandpa silver <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to talk to me about that old man how old are you goddamn 47 just spiritually he's fucking ancient <laughs> But yeah, uh, good chapter. Good chapter. Really? No. It's crazy because like this was a good chapter, but not like a whole lot happened. The really the only big things are the Hisoka thing and then the Phantom Troop at the end. Yeah. Um the the rest was more so just <sighs> a uh, lot. There was a dude like <laughs> fanboying over the Phantom Troop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh there's another guy yeah. trying to predict Hisoka's movements. I skimmed the rest. <laughs> it was well, so I, uh, much, man. I really like the stuff with the Phantom Troop at the end because the guy, the assassin, who when he shows up, he's like, this isn't like you guys. Like, you guys should just go kick down the door and kill everyone. And Finks is just like, man, that's dumb. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, why would we do that? That is but fucking stupid. I like stupid. it because it's like... Like... This is why I love the Phantom Troop because, like, yeah, they could just do that, but it's like they're they're not just insane kill killers. They're just doing whatever makes the most logical sense. Yeah. They're like actually intelligent. That's yeah, that's what I like about the Phantom. Troop. Yeah, they're professionals. They're professional thieves. It's like, yeah, they could just fucking go ham and kill everyone, but it's like, well, why would they do that? Because that just would make things way worse. Yeah, way harder on them in the long run. That's that's a very good point. Yeah. Shots yeah, they don't get me. anything from it. Yeah. But I think it's interesting because it, it really does just depend because they they're not above oh, bro, killing man. large numbers of people as we saw in York. Oh with, uh, no, they are not. Yeah, Mafia they there. Like they fucking killed everyone. <laughs> it's just like depending on the situation, they'll you know change. They'll do whatever makes the most sense in any given situation. Mm -hmm. Which I like a lot. Shouts out, yeah, shouts out. Um, I had something I was gonna say, but I forget. Damn. Oh well. <laughs> I guess it wasn't that important. But like yeah, that. the Phantom Troop was was very cool in this chapter. It's always nice seeing them, especially these members. Just seeing them run around and do their own thing. Um, I'm very interested to see. I mean, now that we've seen Hisoka again, do you think they're gonna run into each other soon, like Hisoka and this group? Of the Phantom Troop? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't have to say. So. I mean, I, I want to say it's still going to be a, a pretty good while before they actually run into each other again. And I mean, because he is still on like a whole other level. Yeah, because I think Hisoka is going to be, he's going to go to the ZU or however you pronounce it, their headquarters with their boss. Mm -hmm. And none of the Phantom Troop members are like involved with that family yet because they're all going after the. I can't remember their names, the but hell, the the one uh, woman, the hell, heli, whatever family. Yeah, the hell I or whatever the fuck. The They're going after them. Yeah, the hell I, whatever. Oh, I think it's like the Hi Ali. Hi Ali, yeah. Hi Ali, that sounds right. Yeah. <laughs> How about none of us know what we're talking about? That's, That's true. Why are true. we talking? We're not even know what the fuck is happening. That's also true. <laughs> uh, but yeah. It's, it's, Good, good shit. I I don't have good too shit. much to say about Hunter Hunter, and at least in comparison to JJK, um, I just like this chapter a lot. It was a lot of reading, but that's how I know we back, baby. Uh, I give it uh, Hisoka out of ten, <laughs> a bungee gum out of ten. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Other than that, I really don't have that much to say. Yeah, it was, it was, under under. It was weird. Like, it, was, yeah. it was just Isoka and the spiders. That's it. Yeah, I thought I would have more to say. That's why I wrote it up so high here. But like now that I'm here, I'm like, oh, damn. 
<laughs> I I don't have much to Hunter say. Hunter chapters will be like that, where it's like it feels like stuff happens, but realistically, not a whole lot does. Yeah. And the problem is, it's Hunter Hunter so different from like other series because it's like. If this was MHA or One Piece, we could sit here and theorize about like, oh, Hisoka's going to go meet this family and probably do this and do that. And it's like, but it's Hunter Hunter. We have no fucking clue what's going to happen. It's yeah. really hard to like guess what's going to happen next in Hunter Hunter. Yeah, for sure. Especially because it's like, not only that is it hard to guess what's going to happen next, we just don't know what Togashi's going to focus on. Because next thing you know, we could just be somewhere else doing something yeah. entirely different. Like next just chapter could just Karapika. be a Karapika. Yeah. Next chapter could just be Karapika, or it could just be fucking Wobble just chilling. <laughs> yeah. That's how it is, bro. That's just how it is. I hope we see Karapika soon, though. I miss my angry boy. I don't. What the bro, fuck? I keep seeing the Phantom Troop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what that's fair that's fair yeah is, is karapika still teaching niggas how to do nen or are we done with that yes oh, yeah, he's never literally mind. all he does never mind it's i'm what he's still doing i'm uh, i love you karapika but i'm, <sighs> I'm good my boy leorio that's my question Bro, that's he true. died i killed him off oh months. my god <laughs> damn not my boy bro uh yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we cut somewhere else. What the fuck Jing and Pariston are up to? Beyond Netero, what are they doing? I don't know. We'll probably Fucking cut around. to them soon, yeah. <laughs> Fucking around, Fucking finding around. out. Finding yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> doing some shit. We don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be interesting. I, I, think, um, I think next chapter we're going to continue with this, the Phantom Troop stuff at the end. Where they'll probably fucking destroy this assassin and then... <laughs> See where it goes from there. I hope so. That would be pretty cool. Just see him getting the fuck up out of there. Well, I, I'm excited because this is like he set up this with these three Nobunaga, Finks, and Phaeton, where it's like they they were waiting for this guy to show up. They've been waiting for like how long? Like fucking twenty chapters, which is literal years in real time. Yeah. It's like they've been waiting a long time for this exact thing to happen. So now that it's happening. Now the plot could progress for these three characters. You know what I mean? They weren't doing anything until now. So once they get this assassin, they can question him and figure out whatever it is they need to do next. So hopefully that's what fucking happens. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, hoping we get Nobunaga's ability because he's the only member whose Nen hasn't been revealed. Oh, yeah, I guess that is true. huh? Because we've, we've seen him use that uh, one the sword technique. Yeah, can, the one yeah. technique. That's not... Yeah. Stole me. Right, that wasn't flow. an actual net ability, was it? Yeah, yeah. Nah. that's just how fucking strong he is. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no, I I imagine we'll we'll probably see it in this next chapter. I hope so. I hope so. Uh, Wait, but so yeah, good. that's that's everything I gotta say about this one. Yeah. Same here. So then, if we're all good with that, let's move on to Usasuke and Itachi. E part two. Electric oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Black Clover chapter three forty two. Uh, how are we feeling about this one, team? Uh, I mean, I mean it's good. good it's a good chapter. It's a good chapter. Yeah, I mean, it, I like it introduces chapter, yeah. a lot of stuff that I'm interested in. I want to. So, like, the first thing that really stands out to me about the chapter is just the stuff at the Ooh. beginning about like the legend where according to legend in the past a five-headed dragon that had rampaged through the land of the sun was quelled there by a heavenly maiden the you know the ocean uh its magic seep into the ocean it turns black and space-time nonsense it connects to the underworld that's interesting because when you see the first panel where it shows like yami's ancestors and shit it's it's heavily implied that this family has this darkness magic because of that dragon because mm -hmm. even when it shows yeah. a dragon it's like it has that same kind of aura around it yeah and it uh, their magic is also essential to connecting to the underworld so it's very closely tied it seems and i i, I mean we don't know what the fuck is the deal with a heavenly maiden just yeah. coming down and doing shit it's like it's interesting I mm -hmm. want to know more. I am mm. intrigued. <laughs> I, yeah. I really, yeah, I really like getting the lore bits of the Land of the Sun. I think that's really cool. And just seeing, I like, 
I really like that we didn't just get the full flashback in one go. Some people mm-hmm. might not like that, but I actually like that because that means he's taking his time a bit with it. Yeah, yeah he never yeah. fucking does yeah. that. I We're going to get it over the course time. of a couple chapters, <laughs> right. which I really like. I mean, yeah, no, like I said, it, like there's obviously going to be like some overarching thing here. There's a lot more to the story than we just was presented through each guy's eyes, which should be interesting to see. Which again, and brings us right back to the whole Itachi deal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but I definitely I like, uh, it's just like a very obvious setup here. I mean, we all know Yami's maybe not innocent. I'm sure. I think it's possible he did actually kill his clan members, but I think he probably had a reason. Yeah, I like think, totally without a reason. I think it has something to do with Ichika. I think like because literally the only time we see him get like pissed off in this chapter is like defending her when the dad tried so, to hit her. Yeah. Right. So I'm wondering if it's like they were gonna do something with her and he didn't like that. Mm, that's possible. Uh, well, yeah. I do. I actually think it makes sense logically to space out the flashback like this because uh, it's. I think it's possible we, we don't even really figure out the truth of what happened until Yami oh, yeah. gets back into the story. Because I don't, none of, none of them know. You know what mm-hmm, I mean? I'm yeah. going to assume Ryuya also doesn't know. He might. He might know. Because Ryuya still he seems see pretty. Yeah. But yeah, that auntie still seems pretty like positive on Yami. Like his opinion of Yami still seems very positive. Mm-hmm. So he might know the truth, but it's like, I don't know. It's debatable. I guess we'll see. Trucity and but, that's um, Trucity, yeah. I mm. really like this chapter a lot. I, I like uh, Ichika's uh, design, like form. Yeah, yeah at the end, it looks yeah. really fun. Oh yeah, that armor is sick as hell. Has oh, like a fucking, fucking crescent moon behind her. Like that looks yeah. so sick. Yeah, it's gonna be sick so, like, too. Um, well, what's up? No, go ahead, go ahead. Keep going. I, I was just gonna say, um, I could see it being a moment because Asta was like, "Man, why is it so cloudy here?" I could see mm. there being a moment where they on some one piece shit split the sky and then the like the <laughs> full moon comes out or something like that. I think that'll be interesting. I do. Oh yeah, so, you get like full moon right here in the last panel. Do you yeah. think Asa's gonna win this fight? I think it's gonna uh, I don't think he's gonna flat out win. Um I think it's gonna be a situation where he shows off not his potential, but he gets in, like, one big hit that, like, catches her off guard or, like, he parries something, something of, yeah. of that nature, and it catches her off guard, and she's like, whoa, you know? And it mm-hmm. sort of makes yeah, her, I mean, makes I her respect him. Yeah, it makes her respect him a bit more. Yeah, because, I mean, Ichiko's pretty much already demonstrated in, like, the previous chapter that she's a freaking powerhouse. Like, she is not going to go down easy. Yeah, well, that's the thing. She already just his ass, out. right? So I think it yeah. makes sense that he does get like a maybe like that, just like a small win or just straight up wins this time around. And I also think what it's going to be is like, because I think we all agree, Yami is maybe not like I said, fully innocent, but he probably had a good reason, like for why he did what he did. Whereas Ichika is condemning him. Asa's choosing to believe in Captain Yami. And I think Asta is going to be rewarded by winning. Like he's Asta is going to win by surpassing his limits, which is what he learned from Yami. Ah, uh, okay. Because yeah. that's literally what Ich that's literally what Ichiga says. She says like, "Show me the power you have that you've learned from that man." Yeah. And that's what that's what Asta learned as how to surpass his limits. So I think. He- oh my 